In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add anchor links to your content using the WordPress Gutenberg editor. Anchor links are really useful as they allow you to link within an article so people can jump quickly to the section that they are interested in. This makes them perfect for creating a table of contents, which you can add at the top of your article or wherever you like, really. So, without much more chit chat from me, let's get on and add some anchor links. Okay, so I'm over at bowwowtech.co.uk, which is one of my Amazon affiliate websites. If you'd like to create a website just like this one, I'll put a link up now in a card that will take you to a tutorial that will show you exactly what you need to do. So on my website, I've obviously got lots of articles. Here's one um, that I published recently. It's all around dog food. And within the article, it's got these headings, puppy food, dry dog food, uh, wet dog food, uh, grain-free dog food, I think you get the idea. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some links at the top here so that people can quickly jump to each one of these um, sections within the article. I'm already logged into the site, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go edit post. And here we are. We're into the Gutenberg editor, which is still quite new to me, if I'm honest, but I'm starting to like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some links um, just below this second paragraph. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the little plus here. I'm gonna add a list. And then what I'm gonna do is add each of the headings in the list. So puppy food, dry dog food. Let me just speed this up so you don't have to watch me. There we go, they're all added, looking good. I think what I'm gonna do is actually add a little um, uh, heading, just like quick links, something like that, I don't know. Uh, make that H4. So we've got that now, now we just need to link them up. So what we need to do first is add an ID to each one of these headings. So I'm just gonna click on the heading then over here on the right hand side, in the advanced section, we've got this bit here that says HTML anchor, and that's exactly what we need. So I'm just gonna enter an anchor. Puppy food, that makes sense. This one, put in dry dog food. And this one, wet dog food. Uh, I'll tell you what, let me speed up time again. Okay, I've added all the anchors to all of the headings. Let's go back up to our bullet points. Now we just simply need to link them up. So the first one is puppy food. What I'm gonna do is just highlight the text, click on the link button. Then I'm gonna enter a hash. And then the anchor, which I set as puppy food. Then click the little arrow. That's that one done, let's do this one as well. This one, again, with the hash, and then dry dog food. You do have to remember, obviously, what you set as the anchors. Uh, this one, wet dog food. So, again, with the hash, wet dog food. So, let me just quickly do the rest. Okay, so they're all done. Let's um, save, we're clicking on update. And then let's go test them out. So let's view post. Here we go. So here's our quick links, let's test them out. Wet dog food, dink. Jumped us down to wet dog food. Grain free dog food. Now it looks like it's jumped us down a little bit too far, but it actually has and it's because the admin bar is actually covering the um, the heading there, so that's fine. 
The one thing about it is it's a little bit jarring, I find, because it kind of jumps instantly, like donk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly add a plugin that will add a kind of smooth scroll effect, which I think will make it a little bit nicer in terms of the experience. So to do that, I'm gonna go into the dashboard. Then I'm gonna go down to plugins and add new. Then in this search box, I'm gonna type in page scroll to ID, which I think is one of the better plugins to do this. There we go, click install now, then activate. And there we go, that's activated. Now it's added a little message at the top here. I'm getting a little bit annoyed, if I'm honest, with these plugins that keep adding kind of adverts um, to my dashboard, it's a little bit annoying. But anyway, let's just close that. Let's go test it out. So back to the website. Back into our article, which ooh, is down here, there we go. Uh, right, I'm gonna click on the one right at the bottom so we get the full effect of the smooth scroll, there we go. Whoa, ah, that's better, isn't it? I like that. Whee. So there we go, we're all done. That brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you've got your anchor links all up and running. I'd love to hear how you got on. Why not leave me a comment below this video? I do read all of the comments I get and if I've got time, I'll try and reply to you too. If you're not already subscribed, then you can do so by clicking on the eagle which has appeared up there somewhere. You'll also see a little picture of my face. If you click on that, you can go check out my vlog channel. It's full of videos all around business and life and other stuff like that. And there's also a couple of videos that have appeared and they've been chosen specially for you. So I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.